Hi, I'm Ray Tanzen, Product Manager here at Personas. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the functionality that you can get with your Studio Live Series 3 mixer using it as a control surface for our Studio One DAW software. So let's take a look at some of the basic layout of controls on the mixer itself. So to start, you're going to have an overview on the screen here and a few controls over in the fat channel area. You're going to have your pan. You also have monitor. When you press this button, you can then select what channels you want to put into monitor mode. Next to that is record. Same thing, when you push this button and hold it, you can record arm tracks. And then you have edit, which is going to bring up the uh, macro controller editor. Pushing input will take you back to the main uh, section for the channel overview. Uh, you then have your uh, input source, so you can go through and select a different input source. Uh, you have your output. Uh, this channel, for example, is being output to the drums submix, and your automation. You can change your automation here or in the screen. On the screen, you're going to get an overview of everything that's happening on your channel. Uh, what your input source is, your mute, solo, record, and monitor states, your pan setting. So I turn my pan. I can also just center that real quick. Uh, the channel name, and then a list of your inserts and your sends on that channel, and then the right is the current automation mode. You can change the automation mode just by touching it over here. Uh, you can also dig in and access uh, all the controls for many of the uh, inserts that are available. For example, if I press Pro EQ, it's going to bring it up here on the FAT channel. It'll also open it up on the screen in Studio One. And then I can use the controls here in the FAT channel to make adjustments to that EQ. To exit that, I can just touch that insert again on the screen, and it takes me back to the channel overview uh, layout on the FAT channel. Some of the other buttons and controls that we have available, uh, you have the AUG sends. So if you press that button, it's going to bring up uh, whatever sends you have for the currently selected channel. You can also do that by selecting the send on the screen, and it will take you to the same place. The tap button will toggle the metronome on and off. And then the mute buttons above that are going to open your different views in Studio One. So the effects mute A is going to open up the inspector. B is going to open up the editor. C opens up the mix. And D will open the browser. Another really useful screen is the transport screen. You can get at this by going to the edit button in the live recording area. And on this screen here, you're going to see your session name, uh, your loop endpoint and out points, your session counter, uh, timing, all the full transport controls. So you do still have the uh, basic transport controls with the physical buttons, but you can quickly access uh, all the comprehensive transport controls uh, on this transport screen. Uh, moving down on the fader section, so right now we're in uh, the user layer, so when you're on this user layer on the console, that's going to be your main view, and that's basically going to be a mirror of what you're seeing on screen. So if you see here, I'm moving the first fader, that's my kick, it's moving the kick in Studio One. Um, a couple of the other layers, I've got inputs, that's going to bring up my inputs layer. Now in this session I don't have an interface set up with inputs, so you're not seeing anything right now. Um, and then over here uh, with the additional buttons, if I push my AUGS inputs, that's going to be my effects. So you uh, see all of your effects masters here. Uh, DCA groups is going to pull up your VCAs in Studio One. And then your uh, mix and effects masters are going to be your buses. And then back to user will take me to the user. Now right now all my faders are controlling the main mix. Um, the first eight uh, mix buttons will bring up the sends. Uh, so this will bring up the first send on every channel. So if you see here, you look on my snare track in Studio One, you'll see moving this fader is going to adjust that level. Um, and then the remaining uh, eight are going to be your Q or Z mix sends. 
Another really great thing that we have uh, on the consoles uh, for the 24 and the 32 is you have the user function buttons. And with these buttons, you can actually assign anything that can be a keyboard shortcut from Studio One to one of these eight buttons. Uh, to do that, you go into the home menu and into your system settings, and into your user button assignments. And then when you select to choose it, you'll see a list of all of the categories on the left and then the options on the right. So you can go to your browser and choose uh, close tab, for example. And now that button is my close tab button. So a lot of flexibility in what you can do with those buttons uh, and a lot of control capabilities that it gives you when working with Studio One. Um, it really takes you away from having to use the mouse and the keyboard all the time and puts you back into a real mixing environment. Be able to write automation, read automation because they're touch sensitive motorized faders. You also get to do uh, touch and latch automation. So uh, it's a really cool tool, very useful. Uh, we have a couple other videos that dig into uh, some more depth of how to do certain things uh, with dock control mode. So we encourage you to check those out on our website, personas.com, or on our YouTube channel. Thank you.